Welcome back to the 75 gallon rimless mixed reef aquarium. And here's my auto top off. Um, it is a roughly seven and a half gallon uh, Rubbermaid or storage container. Tank evaporates about a gallon to a gallon and a half per day. So this size uh, container will last me roughly a week, almost a week, and so we're filling it up. And I have um, my RLDI water um, extension attached to it, so there's no carrying of buckets. All right, so I'm not sure if you can see, but there are hash marks on the outside, and right now there's five gallons. One right there is a six gallon, and you can't quite see it, but there's a seven gallon mark. So, this works out well, um, and it's much cheaper than having a um, hundred dollar or so container. Although, I do wish it held, um, you know, maybe nine, ten gallons, um, but until I find a container that fits, this is. Um, the cheaper option to go with and that's pretty much how I fill up the auto top off and I have um, also on my to-do list there's um, uh, brown algae starting to show up on the sand bin so that tells me my uh, phosphate reactor is time for a change and it has been probably almost two months since I've changed it. Uh, so that's um, a telltale sign for me. And, um, and so I will be switching out a cup of phosphor and a cup of carbon along with the next water change. And then I have an upcoming uh, sump cleaning. I haven't cleaned the sump in a while. So that's on the list. Uh, I lost the anemone and the starfish. Um, so that drop in the alkalinity. When I was doing the no um, water change for a month project and It's coming up on, I would say, two weeks, maybe two and a half, and I'm about to do water change on the tank. And that's pretty much all I have. Thanks for watching. Welcome new subscribers, and stay tuned for more updates.